my best friend looks like a celebrity check. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not a Steelers fan. I'm not gonna say I'm not a Steelers fan, but I'm not, I, I'm not a Steelers fan. Do you hang out with Eritreans? <laughs> what binds you and Miles together? Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing the Q&A that I promised you guys that I would do like what weeks ago um my life has been just so what's the word unpredictable it's just been everything has just been in upheaval i haven't felt settled in a little bit which is why i feel like my room is always a mess and i apologize in advance for that but i definitely wanted to do this q a guys since there was uh, a lot of new subscribers to my channel via TikTok and Instagram and all that. So welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for choosing to subscribe and I hope that you get to know me a little bit better through this Q&A. I have a few other like Q&A videos, but if you haven't gotten a full grasp of who I am or my personality, I hope that you're able to, yeah, just stay along for the journey. So I got a few questions from my Instagram and a few questions from YouTube. So I'm going to start off with the questions from Instagram and then go into those of the YouTube. Actually, if you guys don't know, I every single time that I have a Q&A or I'm about to do a Q&A, I post on my YouTube community page. And that's basically how I communicate with you guys. Um, you guys should, if you are subscribed, you should have access to it or it should come up on your feed. If it doesn't, let me know. I'm not sure how that works. Maybe you have to have your post notifications on. It basically allows you guys to interact with me one-on-one -on -one a little bit better. All right, so the first question is by Ivana Demjanovic. I hope I said that. I am so sorry if I didn't. <laughs> Do you have a favorite TikTok trend? Um, if you guys don't know, I'm like obsessed with TikTok. TikTok as a whole is my favorite thing ever. But I think my favorite TikTok trend so far has been... I don't know, I just, I really love the, my best friend looks like a celebrity check, or like, I feel like there's such a TikTok thing where it's like, um, I have a rich auntie check, <laughs> my dog looks like it's about to eat me check, I don't know, it's just so funny because they're so random, I think I like that, and I also love all the dancing trends, if you guys don't know, literally TikTok is just like pages and pages of people dancing, including me. <laughs> Uh, same person also asked, what is your favorite show or movie? Right now, I just finished the Netflix show. Um, it was on Nickelodeon. I guess a lot of people watched it growing up. I didn't because I grew up in a Middle Eastern country and the show didn't come on then. But um, it's, what is it called? The Avatar, uh, The Last Airbender. And it is an animated movie, but it's so good. I just love the little spiritual aspects of it. Like, it's like, oh, it's all fun and games and it's all childish, but then talks about your destiny and how you choose your own destiny and all that stuff. So I think it's just an amazing show to teach your kids growing up. Like Loki, I wish I watched it growing up, but even now that I'm a grown up, I still really enjoy watching it. So uh, yeah, that is so far my favorite show to binge watch on Netflix. No one, <laughs> it's a funny, that's a funny name to have on YouTube, um, asks what inspired you to start social media? I think I just always, I mean, I've always had social media ever since Facebook became a thing. I think when we were like, oh, relax. Ever since Facebook became a thing, I've loved being on social media. I love Facebook, I love Instagram, um, and I've just always done it. I think more social media in terms of YouTube, I've always wanted to. Like, I like being in front of the camera, like, I like doing things like that, and it just felt like it was gonna happen inevitably. So, it wasn't really anything that made me think, hey, you know, one day I could be. It was just, I always, I don't know, I think I'm Gen Z in the sense that I can't remember a time where I didn't put myself out there. So, yeah. Habisha Land, Habisha asks, well, you're a Steelers fan, I love football, let's talk about sports. Um, so I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not a Steelers fan. I'm not gonna say I'm not a Steelers fan, but I'm not, I, I'm not a Steelers fan, what am I trying to say? Um, I'm not a huge, Football fan. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Um, football, American football for me, it's fun when you're watching it live. Like I went to a live Falcons game at the Falcons Stadium and that was so fun. Such an amazing atmosphere to be in. I went to a lot of college football games because of Miles, not because I wanted to. Um, but even then it was really fun to learn the sport. 
but every single time I attempt to watch football, whether it's the Super Bowl or whatever rivalry game they have going on, I just, it does not do it for me. I don't get the hype. I haven't felt hyped up enough watching it for me to like want to keep watching it. You know what I'm saying? But soccer? Let El Clasico be on. Let Arsenal be playing with Manchester. Let anything be going on, bro. Like, I feel like f soccer is like just such an amazing sport because you're literally like on your toes the entire time. Oh, love that sport. <laughs> oh, the next question is very similar. Um, Darao G asks, I know this might sound funny because most of the girls don't like soccer. Tell us your favorite soccer, football slash team or club. Arsenal, I love Arsenal. Um, and that's because of a family thing. I didn't really pick that for myself, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, my brother really loved that team and since then our entire family was like, all right, I guess that's the team we're going with. <laughs> so we always stuck with that. Um, one team from Ethiopia, Ethiopia, one team from the world. Okay, um, I don't know any Ethiopian teams, I'm not gonna lie to you, just because I'm not exposed to it. Um, however, one world team, mm, you know, in a couple of the World Cups, the Mexico Mexico team has been absolutely amazing. And ever since, like, I think it was 2010, the South Africa World Cup, I have been obsessed for rooting for Ghana. I just, you know, Kevin Prince Botang has my heart. He just has my heart. Ethio Girl Lucy says, When did you start the healthy lifestyle? Working out, eating healthy, etc. And what is the biggest difference you have noticed? Um... I started getting into or wanting to be a little bit more healthy and wanting to work out more because I think it was like my sophomore year of college or maybe sophomore or junior year of college so like five years ago um, I started working out it wasn't so much like I was eating better I was just working out and working out made me just feel so good and just like I don't know something about it I kept going back like Every time I worked out afterwards, the endorphins that it releases in your body just puts you in such a positive mindset and it just made me want to go out there and conquer the world. And I think it's that mentality and that mindset that made me love working out. And then because I was working out so much and not eating healthy enough, for me, my body had the effect of just losing weight. I lost so much weight, I looked like a stick thin like bone structure and I did not like the way that I looked or felt. So I started to incorporate healthier meals, eating larger portions, making sure I have enough protein and carbs, and it just kind of spiraled from there. And I feel like the biggest difference that it has made for me, honestly, is one, it has made me appreciate my body um, for what it is. Like I'm not trying to aspire to look any certain way. I'm very, very happy with the way that my body looks now. And not just looks, but the way my body feels. Like I feel healthy, I feel strong, and to just have full control over like how you feel about your body is a really empowering feeling for me. But also I feel like like that feeling of like feeling strong, feeling in control is such I don't know, it's an it's a very nice feeling. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's a very nice feeling. So yeah. And the biggest honestly for me, the biggest difference isn't even so much about my body, but just like mentally, it has given me so much mental strength and it also made me realize that my mind will fail me before my body does. So take that as a life lesson, guys. Okay, so now moving on to my Instagram questions, if I can find them. Thrive.habisha asks, where do you see yourself in five years or what are what are the things you want to achieve in the future? So in the next five years, I'm gonna be Maybe three. Oh my god. Okay, my neighbor is looking straight into the window. Like, can I just be great, please? Please. So in the next five years, I'm gonna be 30 years old and I'm hoping to have accomplished a lot. Um, I'm a huge fan of Tony Robbins and how and one of the things that he says is a lot of times we think that we can accomplish so much in a year, but then we underestimate how much we can accomplish in five years or ten years. So I'm hoping by the time I'm 30, I'm hoping to own my own property. I'm hoping that I have a family and children. And I'm just gonna put this out there because I don't think I've ever like vocalized this, but I would love to have my own range of clothing or like fashion, something to do with fashion. Like I really love that. So I'm hoping to do something in that. If I if that happens by the time I'm 30, I'll be very happy. Dawit.th asks, where did where did you live? 
Um, I, I mean, I live in the United States now. If you guys don't watch my vlogs, you should. Um, but I live in the Virginia Beach area, so I live really close to the coast, which I love. It's a beautiful area to live in. Where I used to live is Dubai, UAE. Oh, um, one of my close friends, Natasha Travels, such a beautiful soul. Um, she asked, what binds you and Miles together? Honestly, I feel like we, so Miles and I have been together for four and a half years now. And I feel like we've gone through a lot. And I mean, obviously any couple or any two people that have been with each other for five years, they're gonna see some ups and downs. However, I feel like what really binds us is our faith and our, our vision. I think we both have a very similar understanding of like the important things in life. Like we both have a very similar understanding of what our family should look like. You know, with the role that I play versus what he plays. Um, also, we both understand that at the end of the day, it's our faith that runs our life. So our core understanding of, okay, well, what is the motivation behind why you do what you do? And if anything happens, like what convicts your soul? Like what is your understanding? Like what is your higher power? What is the purpose with which you do things? Because we have a very similar shared faith. I think that binds us together because whenever we have hard times, we both would be like, okay, you know what? Is this what God wants for us? Is this, if this is like, if we're not gonna work out or if we're not gonna make it through this hard time, will we be, will that be the will of God? Or is it because we didn't try hard enough? Or is this this or that? So. A lot of times it's like we're very God-centered in our relation, or at least we try to. So I think that has binded us over time. Um, a lot of couples, like this is a great question, and honestly I would say communication would help a lot, but communication is very, very, very hard, and it's not something that we've mastered. We work on it all the freaking time, and we miscommunicate all the time, but I think that the fact that we try, like the fact that we still try is what's important. Like we haven't given up on each other. Um, Yoel the Great asks, do you hang out with Eritreans? <laughs> do I hang out with Eritreans? My best friend is Eritrean. Her name is Milena, funny enough. She has the same name as my sister. And she is literally the love of my life. I love that woman so much. Um, but yeah, she's Eritrean, so I hang out with Eritreans. Well, I mean, technically she's far away, so. Yeah, Anbisa Lij asks, Shiro or Doro? Um, Doro any day. Believe it or not, guys, I actually don't like Shiro. I know. Don't freaking at me. Don't ask me questions. Don't even, don't even start commenting, okay? I know the hate I'm gonna get for saying that I don't like Shiro, but I don't. It's bland. There's not enough flavor for me. So I'm gonna go with Doro because Doro any day, you know what I'm saying? Yossi Debs asks, how much sooner do you wish you started your channel? Meaning my YouTube channel. Um, honestly, I would say I started it at the time that I was meant to start it. Um, I would have loved to start it earlier in my, maybe when I was still in college or something like that, because I would have loved to document those moments. Like college was such an amazing time for me. However, I feel like I wouldn't have lived those moments to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if I had my camera with me or if I was, you know, doing all this like YouTube stuff while I was still in college, I wouldn't have done as much as I did while I was in college. Because believe it or not guys, YouTube <laughs> planning videos, editing videos, shooting videos, like all of that takes so much time and so much effort. Like, holy cow, I have so much respect for people who like upload every day or post every day or you know, anything to do with that. Because even now for my YouTube channel, I try and cons consistently post every other day while I'm quarantined at home because it's a great time for me to one, grow my channel and to, you know, pump out as much content as I can, be as creative as I can, but it is so incredibly stressful. Like it just, it's a lot of work. So, I mean, I, because I enjoy it, it doesn't feel like work to me, but I feel like if I was in college on top of my full-time course load and everything else, it just would have been too much for me. So I feel like this is the perfect time. Like I started YouTube at the perfect time that I did. Yeah. Oh, my battery's about to die. All right, I'm gonna try and close up this video before my camera dies. Um, thank you guys so, so much for choosing to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. I post videos almost every other day. Um, 
And if you have any other questions for me, just go ahead and comment them down below. I'll try and reply back to you. If not, I'll collect all your questions and do a part two to a different Q&A or whatever. Before my camera dies, I do want to say that if you're one of the people or businesses or if you know anybody who's in Minnesota right now who is freaking out over what the heck is going on, or if you're anywhere like New York or those big cities, I hope that you stay strong. I hope you stay safe. If you are marching and petitioning, just know that I send you my love and prayers and I just hope that everybody is safe during this time, guys. It's a really scary time that we're living in, especially if you live in the United States. So I'm sending you peace, love, understanding, and lots of my prayers. Bye, guys.